I was just a black boy brought up in the white world I just wanna ask God if I'm in the right world Is my life a test or is my life a curse? They put us in an ambulance, got us in a hearse Cause another brother deceased, but it doesn't matter Killed by the police, while we in the handcuffs I don't wanna take a knee, I just wanna stand up What's good Perry Posse? Alright guys, so today is gonna be a different type of video Um, We wanna go ahead and step back from our normal content today And pretty much just get into what's going on around the world Um, As you guys know, um, the death of the brother George Floyd you know, it, it it hurt all of us, and I felt like it didn't kill us physically, but it it killed us mentally, guys. Honestly, like you know, we this is the life we got to live, huh? It's pretty much, but yeah. And unfortunately, it is a real fear. You know, even I can only imagine as a black man, but you know, we've also had our incidents where we've seen police brutality affect black women as well, and you know. Unfortunately, it's just a fear overall being black in America, and it's something that you have to be conscious of every single day, and it's not right. Um, but, you know, with all the protests and all of the petitions and all those things that people are doing right now to bring awareness to this, um, keep doing it because, you know, it hasn't been much change, but we've seen a little bit of change and a little bit of positivity come out of this. But, you know, we're going to go ahead and talk about our feelings about the situation a little bit more. Um, and before getting into the video, we do want to give our deepest condolences to the Floyd family and, um, of course, anybody else out there who is black, um, and has to deal with this and has to just deal with the fear of being black. We just want to say we're sorry. We're right there with you. And let's just keep pushing to change and to freedom eventually. Um, before getting to the video, we do want to go ahead and start off with a prayer. So... I'm gonna let you start off. All right, guys. Sweet. And <laughs> you would just bow your heads with us and pray with us. Oh God, I just want to say honestly, I just want to say thank you for making me black. You know, and just thank you for making me a strong black man. And um, we gonna keep on fighting. You know, I feel like we was all put on this world to be free and you know love each other and you know. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take over on this. Okay. Um, dear Heavenly Father, we first thank you for another day, another opportunity, um, especially to make change in this world, God. Um, you know our hearts and you know we're hurting and we just ask that you provide us with the tools to go out there and, you know, make better of the situation. And, you know, um, I do ask that you just fill the hearts, you know, of your people with love, with care, with tenderness and, you know, put your healing hand over this world, God, because... All of us are going through this and um like i said i just ask that positive change comes out of this and that you just soften up those hearts of the cops who you know use their job in the wrong way and i ask that you continue to protect us you continue to love us and you help us love each other god thank you for another opportunity thank you for everything you have given us for you our savior in jesus name we pray amen amen and let's go ahead and get into the video I'm gonna start this video off by asking you, um, how do you feel when people respond, all lives matter to black lives matter? And I want you guys to answer this question in the comment section below, guys, because I really want to know how you guys feel also about this. So how do you feel? Um, I feel like, you know, I can see where you guys were trying to go with that, but I feel like, you know, it's kind of a little bit offensive because as much as we wish that all lives mattered, the reality of it is it, they don't and i feel like you know you've seen in the justice system for hundreds and hundreds of years black lives being disregarded when it comes to police brutality and um so i just feel like you gotta let us have this you know this is our people stepping up um fighting for our lives fighting for our freedom because from the get-go we haven't had that in comparison to white people unfortunately and you know it's actually pretty interesting to see because even with the riots and everything like that it's not just black people mm -hmm. standing up it's many minorities and even some white people but i feel like it's you're actually, either it's actually a lot of white people I've yeah seen a lot of white people because i just I'm feel like happy. if you have a heart then you yeah. know you understand where, where where this is coming from and i think it's just very unfortunate that 
police use their jobs, use their power to take out their own anger and mm -hmm. their own prejudice against black people. And black that's people. what the movement is about, is stopping the police brutality and really making it equal. Yeah. Because if you're black, you never felt equal. Right. Honestly. So that was a good question. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think about how people are rioting and protesting and like, do you agree with everything or what do you think? Um, Cause there's a lot of controversy on that yeah. and I've had some people talk me down on that, but I mean, um, honestly, I, I love the protesting, um, the protests. I feel like for once that we are all, and like she said, it's not just the black people, you know, I didn't see whites, you know, Spanish, um, Haitian, you know, yeah. I didn't see a lot of different races, races come together and, Fighting for what's right, you know. Um, what so, about like the looting and like the breaking in? Um... Oh, um, wow. So, can I say something on that? Hold on, let me. I feel like you guys, okay, so that I just feel like we shouldn't, like, guys, like, that's kind of like very touchy to like get on. I just feel like, don't take this, like, his death, um, George Floyd's death, and like don't 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 I feel like don't don't take this as a come up guys like you know like not a protest I love to protest I promise like guys if we protest every day for the rest of our life like I would literally like, I love it like it's <laughs> because we're fighting for something that we believe in but yeah. like breaking in like stores and you know stealing crap guys like that's not who we are you know I just feel like what that's doing that's just giving the you know the white well I'm not even going well white people um not all white people are bad people let me just say that because i have a lot of I'm, I'm a mix of white i have a lot of friends that's white also Same. and i care about a lot of white people also but for the white people that are racist i just feel like that's giving them you know like more to judge us about because in their eyes we're animals you know yeah guys? And, and honestly for me i don't even I'm mixed with white as well, but in a white person's eyes, when you see either one of us, you don't identify us as white. Black. So yeah, exactly. So I identify with being black, but you know, the thing is, is I feel like I love the protesting and I'm all for, you know, standing up for what you believe in. And I do understand, you know, people burning down crap and things like that. Cause it just shows your passion and it yeah. shows like, you know, you're really fired up. I'm tired of it. Like, but what yeah. I do have to say is I don't agree with the stealing flat screens and yeah, stealing right, shoes. That's just... I feel like you're taking the focus off of what we're fighting for. We're fighting for equality. We're fighting for justice for these black lives lost to police brutality. And what you're doing is being a criminal. And I don't understand why people are turning this into a come up. Mm -hmm. You know, like I said, I might have felt a little bit some type of different way if it was, you know, just burning stuff down and whatever. It's still criminal activity, but I feel like the stealing stuff and I just really don't agree with that. I, I really just think it's it's taking the focus off of what we're fighting for and it's turning it into something not right. Yeah, right. <laughs> not right. Okay. Um what have you done thus far with like the petitions or protesting? I mean obviously I know I live with you, but like share with them all that you've done. Alright, so <laughs> Me, I, I have not been to a protest yet, um, but I'm I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna get make sure I get down there and actually protest a couple of times. Uh, but we have signed a lot of petitions. You know, we have we even paid money to keep the petitions, keep petitions. on the site. Yeah, right. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, I'm I'm really gonna go ahead. I'm gonna get down there because I like I like I want to fight for what's right, and I feel like this is where the next generation is gonna see it. Like our kids and our kids kids our grandkids like you know they like they like they're like this is gonna go to the books like all us just come together for once and we're fighting guys like man, it, it's awesome you know yeah really. um i was gonna say you know like he mentioned we've done a lot of petitions and things neither of us have made it to a protest and you know it's honestly been a conversation that we've had in our house every single day because we've kind of been contemplating and juggling it a little bit just because you know now we do have a baby and where we are and where we live Fort Myers you know it's kind of a little bit of a touchy thing you know Jalen was raised here you know and he's already kind of encountered some police brutality growing up and yeah. we're just kind of trying to think about the safety of us and the safety of our son and um, I've already had 
you know, some friends have incidences elsewhere where protests have gone completely left and they were hurt. They've seen people hurt. They've seen many people arrested for not really doing anything. And, you know, I think I, I do look forward to protesting, but it just really all depends because it'd be very tragic if one of us lose our lives or something like that. And ultimately it would affect our, affect our son. But rest assured that we have been doing everything else we can from the safety of our home. And, you know, even the coronavirus right. as well. Like, I'm so shocked to see everybody out there. I'm very proud. But, you know, again, we have a, a new baby and it's kind of just one of those things where we really, we're, we're passionate about it too. And we're doing our own thing mm -hmm. and, you know, fighting with you guys, just not physically at the protest. So, yeah. I do have a question. What about the law that just passed? that the police are actually allowed to pretty much kill any kill anybody that's in a large yeah yeah so if you guys aren't familiar or with, any riders guys so yeah guys i like be safe that's one thing i did want to touch on my ride to guys like so i guess there was a law basically saying that police can actually kill you now if they see rioting because it's kind of like a purge yeah it's like a purge now so yeah um if you guys aren't familiar with it, it was just actually like a, an act that was passed recently that, you know, due to the high volume of writing and protesting and all these things that police are actually able to take action in the same way that they've been killing us right. and basically kill you or, you know, harm you if you are writing. I forgot what the real terms of it were, but, you know, if you're riot rioting violently or even if the um groups are too i think they use the word like tumultuous or something like if it's way too many people at one place and that actually scares me because like i said we're out there trying to fight for our rights we're trying to fight for freedom we're trying to fight for equality and even that's not allowed it's kind of one of those things like we're it just both. proves that the justice system isn't yeah. built for us yeah it's like it's like what they want us to do like and um, they want just us to sit here and just accept what's going on and yeah Not fight so yeah and like i said i actually have one of my friends she's very like you know pro-black and she's been going to a lot of protests and she was actually just telling me yesterday they were peacefully protesting passionate people out there you know not destroying any property or anything like that but because it was so many people the cops started firing rubber bullets and it actually shot someone in the head and you know, although it didn't kill her, you know, those things can. Yeah. And these are kids out there, you know, co college students. And a lot of people are bringing their children. I've seen children being maced. And, um, oh, yeah. And she was also saying how they were getting sprayed with, like, bear mace. Yeah. And yeah. it was burning their skin. Mm-hmm. I don't understand. I, I don't understand. And I do understand that with, like, the police, what their job is to do is to protect us. I mean, and unfortunately, it's somewhat failed up to now it, it, but it, it failed completely to me honestly guys i'm not gonna say somewhat it, it failed yeah it's like my thing is how i see it um all right so with all the police brutality going on it's like how do you guys expect us to respect you not even that like even trust to call trust, on you like how, how can how can we call on you guys you know whenever we actually do need you guys or whenever one of us get pulled over um in a car late night and it's like my biggest I, I, fear. yeah it's like my biggest fear is like to even stop my car and roll my window down um so it's just like how you guys expect us to even do that like so i feel like it's right now like it's like we screw either way like, until a change come guys so yeah that's good i don't know it sucks honestly like it it really sucks what's going on especially me guys like not saying like you know so I don't I don't I had a past you know like my younger days I I was a little rough little little, <laughs> little son of a gun but um yeah like even my image guys you know with the tattoos and you know the beard and the skin color it, yeah the skin color you know <laughs> little jewelry whatever guys it's like I feel like the first thing the police do think is he's a drug dealer or yeah uh somewhere between those lines guys and it sucks because I, I have gun license and it's just like that's like honestly like the most scarce thing you know guys like getting pulled over by the police and you know 
Remember I was telling you how, our weapon. Yeah, how the um, police actually told me to grab my um, gun out he, the car. He actually I was, took, yeah. yeah, he wanted me to, I got pulled over and the police actually wanted me to like grab my firearm and hand it to him. But you know, so it's kind of like, all right, if I grab my gun, you're going to like, you gonna kill me right here. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's, it's just, um, yeah. Uh, we got to stay woke, guys. Like it's, it's sad. Yeah, and Jalen made a really good point with the trusting of the police officers because, you know, what your job is to do is to protect us and to make us feel safe. And it's really unfortunate because I feel like with all of this going on and for them to continue to inflict harm on us for really not doing anything, um, I feel like it's making us enemies and mm -hmm. it's making the police Look at us as the enemies who right. are going out there protesting. Their first thing is, you know, okay, we're about to have a lot of people and they're on their defense. And we're looking at them like, look what you guys are doing to our people. So we we do look at you as the enemies. But mm -hmm. I, I feel like I just hope that we can find some type of common ground and honestly just be safe to the people who are supposed to protect us. Like, I feel like it's just so sad to see the people who have gone through this training and who have been chosen to be police officers, yeah. killing the people they swore to protect. So it's a sad thing. Oh, some thing. Well, night one, we're gonna keep on going, but mm -hmm. how do you feel when people say there are good cops out there? Do you believe that? Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's one thing I just wanna get on. All right, so I don't believe that every cop is a bad cop, right? Cause I, I have met some good cops, but I feel like with things like this, like, you know, with the cop like killing George Floyd, I feel like it's kind of, it's not as hard for us to even trust the good cops anymore. You know what I mean? Like, like how do we tell the difference? Yeah, like, how do we, how do we know you a good cop or you a bad cop? You know, so, I don't know. It's just, <laughs> it's crazy. Like, I, I honestly didn't expect any, this to even get like this in this world. You know? Yeah. So. Um, with the good cop, bad cop, you know, my dad was a cop and he's a great guy. And, you know, he's also a black guy, but I have met plenty of good white cops i think that like you said it's just hard to tell who's who now because the emotions are so high and it's just so much that has gone on and you know the george floyd situation like Jalen mentioned before is like the icing on the cake like we've seen so many police brutality situations here upon black people happen and not everybody gets justice and you know I've seen so many collages and so many different pictures of all the lives that we've lost over the last few recent years. But imagine all those people who didn't have the luxury of having their situation recorded or, you know, right. there's so many people that have not been recognized and there's so many people we don't even know about. Yeah. And, you know, that's what we're fighting for is just for it to just stop. stop. Like, we want to, yeah, we're like, we want to live at peace. Uh, it's like... Mm -hmm. like we're at, at the end of the day we're all humans you know like bleed the same color we bleed the same color guys yeah, we really. was like <laughs> i don't get it i don't know if, like they trying to bring back just like mm -hmm. slavery like it's like what do you guys want us to do like do you want the blacks and the whites to like go against each other again because i feel like that's what's going on now literally it is it's like that's what I, it's like you guys are like, y'all gonna mess around and make us have a damn purge, pretty much. Like, and, you know, they're already calling it like, that on, like, some news things. They're calling this a purge because, and I, I know that that's why a lot of them are trying, a lot of the, like, government and people of authority are trying to make some type of rules because that's what this is going to end up turning into, you yeah. know? And that's what I was saying with the looting and the setting things on fire. You know, I understand people are passionate. And, you know, I think that with all of us to continue to keep fighting, it will be recognized and will be heard. But with the way everybody's going about it, it's going to turn into a dangerous situation for everybody. And it is considered a purge because we can't expect to burn everything down, destroy everything, inflict harm on people and not have any type of consequences because that's when it turns into criminal activity. <laughs> So that's, that's, I've seen that this be called a purge and that's why they're putting out the laws that, you know, if you're going to protest, protest, just don't burn stuff down. Man, don't let's burn that shit down, guys. Seriously. I understand. <laughs> let's that, burn but. that shit down. Yeah, man. We, let, let's keep protesting, guys. Eventually we going to get heard. 
Like, and it even starts off with going out of our communities. You yeah. gotta go into these predominantly white communities. A, when you make people feel uncomfortable, that's when you start. That's when feelings start to get stirred up, and that's when you get their attention. Going into their communities, surrounding their jobs. You know what I mean? Bringing awareness because it's not gonna do anything when you're around a bunch of black people fighting for black lives. You need to go to the people who we are fighting for their acceptance, fighting for their mm -hmm. respect. Respect, yeah. <laughs> You know, so what else? What are some ways that you Black think we can prepare baby Jalen for this? Or some things that we're going to talk to him about? Or have you even thought of that? I don't think about that. I like, do too. Every day. Yeah. You know, like, I want my kid to know, like, he... I'm not going to say that, well... Well, I know, like, for a fact that, you know, he will... Encounter. Encounter racism. Like, you know, he will be judged. He's not white. Um, he doesn't have the little blonde hair. I mean, he got blue eyes, but he, his skin color is not white. Like, he's, <laughs> he's black. So, like, you're gonna, like, I want, I want my son, I, I want to teach my son that early. Like, you know, I'm not, but I don't want to, I don't want to, well, I, I, I want, I, yeah, like, I want him to, like, like, when when he start when he's old enough to understand like understand it then I want to you know sit down and have that father and son talk with him but right now like I want him to be a kid you know what I'm saying Cause right because like, yeah. once I learned that you're not born racist okay. like I feel like it's something that's put into you like it's something that's taught to you that's good. you know what I mean so I just feel like that like I don't want him to me tell him at four years old you know white people don't like you because you're black and then like you know Indeed. him him go he go to school and. See a bunch of you know little white kids and and have hate him. Yeah, like hate him. You know what I'm saying? And like don't want to be around him. And I just don't want him to. I don't know. But yeah, that's good. That's, yeah. that's really good. Um, it's one of those things. You know, if you're a parent, you know that parenting doesn't come with a manual, and you kind of just roll with the punches. But I do want to, you know, not make him fearful, but definitely make him aware. Um, because it is a real thing that he will have to deal with. And I don't know, I feel like I'm nervous. But like Jalen said, I want him to really love everybody and as they are, you know, as he expects them to love him. And hopefully, you know, he, we can go ahead and share this with him and let him know what we fought for and what happened. And hopefully by then it's gotten a little bit better. Um, but what I could say is, you know, I'm really proud of specifically this generation being the ones to really go out there and really do all this protesting. I know a lot of older people have made comments that it's so many millennials and so many young people who are really using their voice. And we are the most diverse population that you know, America has seen yet, especially with accepting the LGBTQ community right. and things like that. I feel like this is really a time where it's not just black people coming together. It's black people, white people, gay people, Asian people, everybody, you know, is supporting each other and leaning on one another and are united to bring equality to all in all different types of ways. Yes, let's love each other, guys. Literally, let's love each other. So, yeah, please just go ahead and comment your thoughts, um, whether you agree with us, disagree. Please just let us know what you're thinking and ask us some questions. We will be more than happy to respond to those in the comments. Yeah. Um, and we did not forget about the $100 cash giveaway. So let me go get this bowl. We actually cut up a bunch of like names um, of the people who have been, you know, constantly liking our videos, sharing. We've gotten so many shares and we just thought that this would be a more fair way to go ahead and choose who the winner will be. So I'm gonna go get that and we will be right back. All right. All right guys, so we gotta um we, we didn't put a lot of names in there. We just really it's like the top eight. Yeah, we put like the, the people that we've seen that was constantly sharing and you know commenting. And, you know, doing everything that we were telling them to do to get the $100 giveaway. All right, so. Do you want to follow me? I, I, I already know who I want to win. Yeah, I know who I want to win also. 
but this is like a more fair way because honestly, a, a lot of people have been sharing and stuff. And thank you. Continue to. Yeah. We might be doing some surprise giveaways. You never know. Yeah. Continue to get us out there because we do enjoy doing YouTube. No, I'll, I'll let you do it. Go ahead. Me? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, we put them on the back of the little thing. All right. Mm -hmm. Leanne Leah underscore X three. That's the IG name. And I'm actually going to put that on the screen. Um, thank it? you, Leanne, for liking, commenting, doing your shares. We've recognized you. We will go ahead and send that. And, you know, I really knew who I wanted to win. And I might just bless you, too. Yeah, let's give her some money because... Cause like the person that she shared our shit. Yeah, the person I know that um here let me I I just, do you, I, I, I want to find her Instagram. Yes, I think it's Black Beauty underscore one. Black Beauty underscore I'm one. I'm pretty 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 sure. I'm pretty sure. I know I've seen her like sharing everything on Facebook, but I'm not. I don't, I don't know about Instagram. I haven't even been on Instagram. Well, I've been on our. Because she's been messaging. Okay. She's she's very on top of it. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and bless you too. And I think that's your Instagram name. If not, I'm going to go ahead and look as soon as I stop recording. And I will put the correct Instagram name. So definitely go follow her. Um, she's a real supporter and we appreciate you. Um, but the winner of the $100 giveaway is Leanne Leah underscore X3. Thank you, Leanne. And stay tuned, guys. Thank you for watching. Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter.